Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Factorio Space Age, where we are cooking. We're cooking some delicious circuits and higher tier modules. Um, I was reminded after the stream, uh, speed, speed beacons are going to mess with quality, so I can't do high quality stuff next to these speed beacons. Um, someday I'll remember that. That day is not today. But we want to start cooking some higher tier modules here. Um, so let's do that. Maybe... I don't know if I have enough room here. But we can at least do two buildings to cook the... Speed 3s and Quality 3s. We are going to need Tungsten Carbide brought in. Oh, and Superconductor. I forgot about that. We only need one each. Uh, that's interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. So I should really be cooking these on Fulgora. Um... So let's do enough for 10 recipes. And then we want to put in the highest quality quality modules we have. zero there okay so yeah i think that's gonna be good that's pretty slow very slow but i think it might still be fast enough right like after 100 seconds i'll have like three or four so over the course of a few hours that should be a decent amount um Now, the real question is the superconductors. I should have some... Oh, this is currently over Fulgora. Perfect. Um... Hey, we got an achievement. Okay, let's do... What was the rocket capacity on these? Rocket capacity is 1,000. Oh. So 2,000? Um... Add another cargo hub. Okay, so that should work. We'll bring enough superconductors to have a lot of tier three modules. We've got some uncommon electromagnetic plants, which should help with the crafting speed of some things. And we'll head over to Vulcanus from here. It says on the way. How are these not here yet? It's taking the bots a while to bring... Yes, it is. I don't know why it's taking so long, though. I feel like... What is happening? Why did it take more there that then got trashed? We've seen this happen before and I don't understand what the problem is. It's like they take too many to the to the rocket silo and then the rocket launches and they're like, oh, I guess we brought 400 extra things, but why did they bring those in the first place? Why did the rocket silo request more than it was going to send up? I don't, I don't know the answers to these questions, but we should be good to go um, to Vulcanus here. We'll start that journey. It'll take a hot second because we're having to go past Nauvis first. <laughs> um, back to the combat conversation. So we were talking in between videos and basically my point is that the game gives you more fun tools then it gives you reasons to use those tools when it comes to combat. It gives you lots, like Space Age gives you lots of new stuff, 
and it really doesn't give you lots of new enemies. It's kind of weird. Like, the worms, while they are really cool, you deal with them one at a time when you want to, and there's a lot of ways to deal with them. It's not really a great place to use your fun new tools, right? And asteroids. I know the later asteroids might need railguns and missile turrets, but even then, that's not that awesome of a feeling way to use them. Like, it, I'm more thinking like killing waves of enemies, like biters on Nalvis. But biters on Nalvis are already solved by the time you leave Nalvis for the first time, so you don't really need to solve it again when you bring back new toys, because there's not new challenges or reasons to use those new toys. So it's kind of weird. Um, and as far as what you were saying, Loyal Streams, the biggest issue to combat in Factorio is it's not really a part of the factory building. It's an obstacle. And once you've automated that obstacle, why do you even have enemies on in the first place, etc. I think one of the big reasons is because it's actually really cool. Like when you're getting attacked with big waves of enemies, watching your defenses work is neat. But it certainly doesn't require you to rework the defenses once you have artillery or once you have Tesla turrets or once you have rocket turrets because there's really no reason you need those things. So, and if the enemies are hard enough where you do need those things, then you're going to struggle before you get them. So what one idea that we kind of talked about is it would be interesting if when you came back from a planet, enemies got harder in some way, like evolution changed. I think that would actually be interesting. But okay, so the Hendrickson will be here with superconductors soon. Gosh, look at that. 65% speed from one module. That is just juicy. Juicy. Juicy speed. Um Yeah, and I don't think I need to do anything else. So now we're gonna work on our to-do list. Funny enough, this wasn't on our to-do list. I don't know why we got so sucked into module production. But more electric engines are needed to make more big drills. So that should be pretty easy. The problem is I'm not really making steel and concrete properly right now. Um, we don't need these because I already have iron production kind of figured out. And it looks like calcite's kind of dead right here. So let's get rid of this calcite. And whatever this was is not needed anymore. This belt's not needed. It always feels good when you can delete a belt. That was big and in the way. And now we need molten iron connected to here. Let's delete the steel one. We already have an iron one. The gear one I don't even think is necessary, right? Did I put gears in a provider? I did. Yeah, so we don't need either of those anymore. The only one we're gonna need is concrete. We haven't done a replacement for concrete. So, that will still be needed. Um, okay, so this needs to attach to this iron. We haven't connected the new to the old in any way. That's water. Wrong blue color. Why? I know the iron is blue, but it feels weird that a molten thing is blue to me. Also, Dave, you saying you want to play through the night, but you're not a teenager. I totally feel that. I totally feel that. Um... Also, what are all my bots doing right now? Oh, they're delivering science. Turn that off for a minute. Uh, and then we're going to deliver all of the superconductors. And some electromagnetic plants, some more recyclers. Just make sure we have enough of all that. Just in case, some more uranium cannon shells, just to have them. Perfect. Okay, so that's all done. Um, now, 
What was I about to do? I already forgot. Engines. So in electric engine units are needed for the drill, so I need a decent amount of them. So let's set up... Maybe up here there's some space. Yeah, let's do this. So we'll set up four. And then room for, like, some beacons here. And then another four to make regular engines. Ooh, a quality module three. Also, Epiphany, I'm not reading what you said. Uh, you consider automating defense to be a good part of the automation. Yeah, one of the reasons you leave enemies on. And that's probably because you find enemies more intrinsically fun than maybe some other players don't, which is, you know, either way is fair. Um, maybe part of getting to the ice planet requires launching a special beacon that riles up the biters and makes them tougher. That could certainly be a thing. Um, again, you know, it's like, would that be good for the base game? I'm not sure, but it certainly could be good for a mod to do that. Now, should I be casting the pipes? It just, I mean, I might as well. I can do it right here. Pipes are just so cheap already. It kind of feels almost pointless to cast something that's already that cheap, but it's also available. Now, am I out of iron? What's going on here? I, oh, we accidentally did a pipe connection, it seems. So this pipe connection is a dead end. I can kill that. All right, so there's pipes. Um, and we can also bring in steel. Faster now. Why do I have so many speed ones? I don't know. Faster now on the engines. And then the problem is. Oh no, we are good. We can just add in some green chips here. Okay, and then lubricant, we should have, yeah, not that far away from here. So that's that. And then this, oh, come on. I gotta be like that. Um, some prod twos just to make them even more free uh dave can the min function take three parameters i'm not sure i'm not sure about that also major red circuits are stacking up on belts yeah that's only because we're not producing enough stuff unfortunately that's not actually a good thing in this case, I know Crydax normally likes things to back up, but in this case, we actually want to be using what we're making because we're, we're able to supply constantly the ingredients because the ingredients are infinite, right? I mean, the calcite's technically not, but with these draining only 50% as fast, it's not going to run out anytime soon. Tungsten is the thing I'm going to run out of first, but we've got our uncommon and rare drills here, so they're only draining 41%, which is awesome. You accidentally did max, not min? 
That'll that'll change things. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do. Okay, so yeah, now we should be making big mining drills a little faster here. And our goal is we're going to 50 uncommons is what we have it automated to. I maybe should do 100 uncommons. Oh, I did. Okay, good. And then now I think I'm going to switch my foundry request to uncommon. And we're going to replace the foundries that are making foundries with uncommons. So these are faster now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we also have uncommon EMPs now that we can make our tier 3 modules with. And that'll make those faster. Anything that's rolling quality greatly appreciates, you know, being in a uncommon EMP. Because now we're getting a much faster... We're getting it 30% faster. But is it even more than 30% faster, or is it exactly 30% faster? I think it's exactly. 1.5 to 1.95 is exactly... Yeah, it's exactly 30% because the... The crafting speed is multiplied with the base speed, and quality changes the base speed. Sometimes the rocket silo launches more than requested. Yes. But what's weird is why did those end up in the trash slots? What with what I was doing earlier. That's what I didn't understand. Okay, so we've got quality threes now. Are quality threes better? And rare quality twos. These are 3.2%. These are only 2.5. Oh, no, that's funky. Even an uncommon quality module three is still just equal to a rare. They're literally the same thing. Those are the same picture. Um, <laughs> a, quality, a rare quality two is an uncommon quality three. So, now, to be fair, it's probably cheaper. Ooh, now here's the real question. Is it cheaper to make uncommon Q3s or rare Q2s if you were using recycling loops to force the issue? I have no idea. It's very interesting. To the spreadsheet? No, no, not to the spreadsheet. Um, but here's the real the real kicker is like speed three rare plus 80 percent i mean that's giving more speed boost than energy consumption so this is actually making it consume less energy for once that's so neat super neat um yeah, so those are just going to be running. So let's work on turbo belts. Turbo. Um, but where is the question? So turbo belts are going to require... So I already set up the gears for blue belts and red belts to be good to go. So I will let the bots carry the actual belts over to wherever we end up making them. And now we need lubricant and absurd amounts of tungsten plates. So, certain amounts of tungsten plates is actually going to take up some space. And tungsten plates are just tungsten ore and iron. So, why don't we use this space over here? Um, this seems like a good spot for it to produce a lot of tungsten plates. Uh, we have uncommons now. So this will be even faster. This could be a good place for uncommon beacons, too. Kind of curious about how those work out.
yeah, so if these guys are all uncommons, and we need to feed tungsten ore in, tungsten plate out, that's pretty simple. And we use speed twos, prod twos, uncommon, because I've got them. You got it, you flaunt it. Um... So those will go there. And then... The iron we already kind of have down here. So that's done. And then we just need to bring... Tungsten ore, which is over there. And we can split that off. Might have to do an elevated train station to go get more ore at some point. But this should do it. What do we got for speeds? That's pretty good. Definitely gonna consume all my ore. I don't think I'm making enough ore for all that. <sighs> so there's those. And then... We'll put our... I assume I don't need more than... Oh, right. These are made in foundries. Whoops. Turbo stuff is made in turbo foundries. Um, yeah, I can just request the, the blue circuits just fine. And we'll need a lubricant. It brought down. It was a little annoying. Should I just do barrels of lubricant? Mm, kind of a lot of barrels of lubricant. So compared to how many other items I'm bringing, it's still less items, but I think I'd rather not. I'd rather not. So we will try to pipe down the lubricant. here. I will say the new pipe visualizer, even though it's not quite the same as pipe visualizer, is absolutely uh, monumental in how it helps setting up vanilla pipes. Like, it's crazy how much of a difference it makes. It makes you wonder how it was... No it's one of those features where you're like, how is this not a thing before? How could you ever play without this? And many of us used the Pipe Visualizer mod because that's exactly how we felt <laughs> playing modded. Um, but, oh, we're out of lubricant. So we need to improve our lubricant production. Where am I even making? Oh, also I just realized we're still making this old fashioned coal liquefaction. Let's kill that. Um, and let's Let's kill this. And just make it better somewhere else. Where we have plenty of heavy oil. Right here. And we can use prod modules and speed beacons with impunity. need the heavy oil. Nah. Actually works fine. Boom. Boom. There we go. And we'll let that actually build up to quite a lot.
Alright, that's enough lubricant for all of the turbo belts that we shall need for the rest of the game. And we're gonna need a lot of turbo belts, that's why we're setting up a big, big process here. Um, and then for these, we'll just do a requester chest. Like that. Uh, 425, sure. I am gonna let it do what it wants. For once in my life. Though the tungsten, not so much. So that's on the belt. Yes! We did it! Turbo belts! I'm literally gonna let this fill up. I might even let it do more. That feels crazy, but it's not. I'm gonna let that fill up to there. I'm gonna let that fill up to there. 500 splitters, 1,000 undergrounds, and basically 10,000 belts. Green belts! Freaking did it. Nice. And these are actually running constantly. I didn't think they would be. Oh, there you go. Now, we can't put prod in here, and I don't really need speed, so I, I guess I'll just leave them where they are. Yeah, they were called tungsten, and then people decided they liked turbo better, and the devs apparently agreed. Because the other ones are measures of speed, right? Fast, express, turbo. It, it just kind of flows. It feels weird to call it a based on the material rather than the speed when there's already a little bit of like an established like this is your belt this is your fast belt this is your express belt this is your tungsten belt rather than turbo turbo also turbo just sounds cool all right i do not need your standard big mining drills ever again i would like uncommons please nor do i need regular electric mining drills ever again get out of here Get out of here. Sweet. <laughs> Iron, ironier, lubricant-ish. Yeah, I call. I at one point I called them normal, hella gears, luby wooby, and <laughs> and tungsten. <laughs> Was I had joked about that on the beta Discord? Those were my names for the three. If we're naming them based on materials, that's you know how we should name them. Okay, so now we've consumed all of our all of our tungsten, so I need more of the drills. We may need to beacon our drills. Yeah, I feel like they could have just been colored purple, given the color of the ore itself. I actually am in agreement with that. I don't I don't love the color. I think it's too close to the yellow belts. Um I think it's just unnecessary confusion. Alright, we're speeding things up here. not enough to compress a blue belt. Oh, right. Now, here's the question. Should I put productivity in these? No, they already have 50% from the mining prod research, so that's not actually that helpful. So we'll just put regular speeds, though. That'll help. Speed 2 modules? Oh, yeah. And remember, these are uncommon drills, so they only drain 41%, which means they're about two and a half times the amount of ore we see here we actually get. But then you multiply that by 1.5, and it's amazing. So now we need a turbo belt for our, uh, our stuff. 
turbo. Turbo. Uh, belt reskin mod win. Oh, uh, I could put quality in this. Uh, do I? I don't need quality tungsten though for having having higher quality turbo belts doesn't do anything. Other than increase their health. Yes, I know it increases their health, but that doesn't do much. The only time it does something is if you're taking asteroid damage on a space thing. A platform. Oh, we ran out. Bring me more! Now would be a good time for speed threes. Ooh, 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 and, and, uncommon diacons. So we're at what? A crafting speed of around three, a little under three with most of these. So then if I switch to uncommon beacons, that alone goes above the, it doesn't change as much as I hoped, actually. But it did help. Um, the real help will be the speed threes, though, for sure. There we go. Now we're using all the stuff. Uh, why don't I just use Upgrade Planner? Yeah, yeah, I could have used the Upgrade Planner for that. Ah. Wow, look at those things fly. Literally a blur. Awesome. Yeah, crafting speed of 31 on this foundry. And this is only with uncommons. I'm not using a single rare quality thing. Not even to mention epic and then legendary. Like, this is nuts what you can get going with quality in these new buildings. I don't, they're not even prod three modules uncommon. So, yeah, you certainly you certainly can do a lot with these new tools, and I'm I'm liking it. I've already got about a thousand belts, so that feels like a good rate. And I'm actually glad some some stuff is getting through even to these tungsten ones. So, or to the splitters. So it's not like we're getting zero of those while we wait for the belts to back up. So yeah, that's uh, that's turbo belts. Turbo belt production can be checked off the list. More electric engines checked off the list. Uncommon big drills is already happening. So I think now what we could do... is just, yeah, those are, we're just gonna let those keep producing. so weird that quality module threes are not oh i get why it's because they're not actually a whole percent better they're actually not that much better compared to what other well no in this case three is a bigger boost than one to two was with efficiency it's just equal all the way with prod, it's a bigger boost. So weirdly, quality three modules are not even equal boost, they're actually a worse boost than one to two was. I think they're, yeah, they're, in that sense, quality module threes are less valuable than all of the other tier three modules. Um, 
which is interesting. So yeah, they're just not that much better. Because you're already at 3.2 with a rare one of these. So a rare one of these is 4, whereas an epic one of these is 3.8. So at that point, you're doing a little better. But essentially, a module 3 is just a, a quality bump. Weirdly enough. Considering they're four times, maybe five or six times more expensive. I don't know exactly how the math works out. And if your chance to upgrade quality was already 16%, is that, <laughs> is that actually more expensive or cheaper? I'm not sure. I am not sure. All right, well, we got some good work done in this episode. Uh, what we're not doing is making science anymore. I broke my science production. Um, the copper. Is this lava even going anywhere? Nope. Sure isn't. So this lava is... No more. And the copper... Where's the nearest molten copper? Down here? And did I break my low density structure? I think I broke my low density structure. We need to rebuild that. Yes. Yes, I did. So... LDS. Uh, we need uncommon foundries now. Might as well replace those. to make all the rockets we need to get stuff off the planet. And then quality, or I mean prod. We've already got speed going here. I think we should just go like that. Is, is there enough space to weave anything? Well, there actually is. I think. This is only possible because they're bigger buildings. Um, but, like, we could bring the plastic in here and do that. And then you have room for an inserter. Now the problem is it would need to be on the the bottom side, but then it gets dumped into the top side. So you would have to do that, which then unfortunately breaks it again. Oh, it's so close. To being possible. But I don't think there's anything I can do. If there are beacons here, there's nothing I can do about it. Now, what I will do, because at the end of the day, it's basically the same thing, is just request the plastic to each one individually. But I was hoping there was some other solution out there. All right, and then copper. Here. I'll change that to an active provider, because that's old old stuff. Now where's the molten iron? All the way over there, huh? Okay. Well, let's start here. 
our way over. And do that. And there we go. LDS being produced at Blunty. Alright. I think we can mostly say Vulcanus is good to go. The thing we're not doing... Um, let me just trash these. I don't need those anymore. Uh, let's see. The thing we're not doing is putting anything carbide-wise on spaceships, which I might need to do. Let's fix this up. Make carbide plenty fast. Okay. So we've got lots of carbide. We've got lots of tungsten plates. I just need to put them... Just need to put some into a chest. We'll just let it fill up. I get plenty. Um... So, my bot network got good coverage. I feel like I'm talking about a cell phone. Do you have good coverage with your bot network? Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good here. Now the question is, what do I need this stuff for again? Um, so, carbide is used in speed threes, so we'll need to ship that around um, anywhere we want to make modules. And then, tungsten is mostly used in artillery. Because I'm making the turbo belts in science here, obviously. So it's, it's also used in artillery shells. Ooh. Between the fairly large amount of tungsten, it almost feels like you want to ship artillery shells via space, but that's also expensive. Rocket capacity is only 10? Yeah, never mind. You want to ship the tungsten plates and the calcite. Um, crafting the railgun itself, but that's, not, that's only a few. You need it for the portable fusion reactor. Okay. So we'll want to ship a decent amount of tungsten to Nervous as well. And some carbide. Though you only need one carbide per speed module 3, so it's not absurd. But if you're rolling for quality, that'll start to add up. So I'm just trying to think about what kind of amounts we want for things. So let's Is the Derpamu ready? The SS Derpamu is almost ready. We just are missing the the thrusters. And that's because we need a specific request for less than the stack size. that and then we're gonna add Vulcanus science and buildings and that's gonna include a hundred uncommon mining drills Gonna include 40 uncommon boundaries. It's gonna include all the turbo belts. Yeah. 
it's gonna include cliff explosives. Those are fine to ship, right? Rocket stack capacity is 20. I mean, that's kind of annoying. What did they require again? Just calcite? So I probably should make those. Well, 10 calcite. How much calcite can I fit on a rocket? 500. So I can fit more calcite than cliff explosives. So we'll do 500 calcite. What's the cube after the artillery wagon? Uh, that's foundation. That's the stuff that you can pave the world with on any planet. Which is obviously useful, but you can't get it till Aquilo. Aquilo. Um, okay, so I got the thrusters built. I am going to move these down. So this platform will be a bit slower than the other one because it's bigger with the same amount of engines, but it should be able to produce things a bit better. We're going to redo this little section to sort things out better, and I guess we don't have the right modules for that. What modules do we have? Oh, none, because I turned off Fulgora first trip. I guess that's okay. Let's just individually request some speed module twos. We don't have speed module twos. That's funny. Um, speed module ones it is. And efficiency ones. Okay, uh, so yeah, we need better crushers. Basically, this would be a lot better if we could extend this down. We do something like this for each type. That feels pretty wasteful. I think I'd be better off using long inserters. be on the wrong edge. Right? Yeah, those will be on the top. The recycling bits. So these will be for metallics. I know I'm not using the recycling function, and I'm not going to need it, so that's why I'm ignoring it. We can change asteroid chunks into other asteroid chunk types, but I'm just not going to need it for this ship because we already know that this basically works the way it is. Um, doesn't fit. This doesn't fit. What do I do? Um, Space. The third one. And we'll do it like that. Okay. So essentially what this is doing is it's saying all the all the what is this? Carbonic chunks go over here. These will process the carbonic asteroid crushing recipe. And then oh wait, what do I do with the output? Accidentally a belt. Um, a 
That's okay. We have enough space. We just have to move this over one more. It's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Thankfully, rebuilding things on a, on a platform is easy. Okay, and then we move over metallic chunks. Sorry, we need to filter out... What's the output we get? Carbon? Yeah, carbon. So these are going to be carbon. I probably should use a different method to sort all these. Like, what if instead... We've already solved it. We're not here to change everything. We're not here to change the world. Just, just this little build. Okay, so there's that. And then that will put the metallics over. Then you get metallic crushing. And then that's iron that we've got here. And the iron. Well, the iron will go to a couple places. What's going on there? Hmm. Not enough. Oh, we never built a requester chest for this. That hundred. There we go. Okay. So that fixes that problem. Now, back to the derp which I need to pin. Keep meaning to do that. So, the derp And then this stuff needs to be iron and carbon. But the iron needs to go get smelted first. So this will be iron. It's getting smelted. So we output priority right. This is going to be the one that just goes and gets trashed. Um, and then this goes and gets smelted first. And the rest of it goes to become thruster, like, oxidizer stuff. And then here... We've got carbon. And that gets joined up. Where's my trash one? My trash one's there. I guess we could trash both at the same time. Because they're on different sides of the belt. We can also just do it this way. Output party left. Um, of course, it's on the wrong side of the belt. So there's carbon. This is trash carbon. And there's trash iron. So there's trash all the way. All the way down. What if I just trashed it off the front of the ship? That feels weird, but it could work. Um, anyway, there's carbon. Oh, we just ran out of belts. Classic. Um, so yeah, that works. Sort of. I feel like I've made this build way worse than it was before. We're just flying by the seat of our asteroids here, and it's not working. Not working out for me. Um, so... Uh, then the 
yeah, the oxides are going to be coming in here. And there we go. These are filtered to oxide. This is where the ice shows up. Let me come down. I'll put priority right. This is trash ice. This is this is all the trash. No, this is not the trash belt. The ice belt is over here. Seems easy enough to just switch what side the inserters are on. So now we've got lots of room for activities. Worth noting. Lots of room for activities. There's water. And then... This needs to be the blue one. Orange one. Right there. All right. Red inserters are on the wrong belt. Ah. I'm so used to Bob's adjustables, that shape works. Uh, I'm glad you pointed that out. Thank you. Okay, so now I should be able to like cut this, paste it, sort of reset what's on the belts, and I think it'll work. Uh, these need to be carbonic chunks. It does have the appearance of working. Those recipes weren't set, but... Okay. Wow. Chaos that was. Get lots of space, because this guy's going to be bringing lots of things back from Vulcanus. To and from. Need two trashers here. And let's do some fuel storage. One for each. And why not some for the water? Okay. And then ammo circulating. That looks good. All right, we got ourselves a big space station. Beautiful. Now, we already set some requests, right? Yeah. Sorting, but sushi is yummy. Yeah, I think some people have said, like, basically everybody has done sushi builds on space platforms. And what's funny is it didn't even occur to me, but obviously, like, that's a great idea. And I probably will switch to it at some point. Okay. I think we have plenty of power. This is going to be going to and from Vulcanus. And Vulcanus has solar power 600. So we're going between 300 and 600. The other one was going between 300 and 120. But we're gonna have way more power available. Now, am I, what am I lacking here? I'm lacking nothing according to the logistics network. Green belts are still being produced. We are going to run out of tungsten. That's the fear, not the fear, the inevitability. And eventually we'll run out of coal, if I'm not careful. A 
why don't I... Actually, I just want to use a less... Or a more spaced out build here. Because this patch is very not dense, it's very large. It almost feels intended, you know, that they did it this way. Um... So that way we don't run out of coal on accident at some point to get a sulfuric acid. Or no, not sulfuric. What is it that coal makes? The oil, all the oil stuff. And, and carbon to make tungsten carbide. But yeah, this tungsten ore over here is our friend that we're gonna have to put on a rail, I think. I think what I want is to grab whatever rare drills we have and put them down there. Um, we have six more. We'll use these on our tungsten. The one above the old stack isn't connected. Uh, I have no idea what we're talking about. Are you talking about on the space platform? We have an issue. Oh, cool. Okay. Here a worm. There's one right there. Um, yeah, a few more rare drills will help. I'm considering this bad boy. It's a lot of packs, but it's free. It's free real estate. Um, or should I work on the the singular unlocks? Yeah, we probably should do the single unlocks. Because then they'll be done forever, and then we'll only have infinite stuff left and Gleba stuff left. Though, I do kind of want Worker Robot Speed 8 pretty bad. 4,000 packs is so many. And Nuclear is 5,000 packs, which is even more than 4,000. If you didn't know that... By the way, 5,000 is bigger than 4,000. Knowledge Bomb. I, I get it. Oh, I'm not making steel anymore. Hmm... That should fix that problem. And... Right. This needs to be... Tungsten carbide. Forgot we needed it for science. productivity -ed. I'll get the orange science rolling again perfect only 5,000 packs no problem yeah Epiphenia when you for you that's just a day in the life of researching uh, you know military too <laughs> um, so after some time on Vulcanus would I recommend Fulgora or Vulcanus first I think they both certainly have... Uh, here's that belt you were talking about. Let's do a lick. Got you. Uh, yeah, they both have merit, for sure. I think having the mech suit is awesome. And also having the electromagnetic plants is awesome. However, Vulcanus gives you this absurd flood of plates and such. To the point where I could see you setting up your normal base on Vulcanus, even. The problem is you can't landfill the lava until later in the game. But... They're both pretty great, I think. I mean, what did we actually get from Fulgora at the end of the day? 
I think the mech suit was the main thing. Yeah, the mech suit is dope. You get some other like personal upgrade stuff. You get the blue chip productivity, which is nice, but you get low density structure productivity from Vulcanus. Those kind of cancel out. Quality module threes are nice, but as we already looked at, they're not that big of an upgrade over quality twos. So I don't feel like rushing that is that worthwhile. And so scrap recycling is the big one. The mech suit and scrap recycling. Uh, yeah, you get the EMP. I feel like the EMP cancels out a little bit with the foundries, though. And I'd say the big drills are probably better than recyclers in terms of getting them first. So I do think that Vulcanus, you know, most people are saying Vulcanus, and I think Vulcanus does win. If you're if you're just looking at raw, like value, bang for your buck, I think Vulcanus wins. Um. Okay, we need more steel. I'm, I thought I didn't need that much, but we actually need quite a bit. So why don't we speed up this process a little bit here? Also, I didn't even build an uncommon one. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? There we go. Oh yeah, having the foundry for making holmium plates with productivity is nice. Yeah. Oh, also, Major, that's a good point. The power is really easy on Vulcanus. Just bring a bunch of uh, bring a bunch of steam turbines, the the high high temperature ones, and you'll be good with power. You don't even need to bring solar if you just use these steam steam turbines. You need a few solar things to get going, but this is the easy way to do it. All you need are some chem plants and some steam things. So it's pretty it's pretty hard to argue that Vulcanus isn't the best because of all that. Just you get so much. Um, at the same time, though, you might not want to go here first, and that's fine. Like, I, I'm still happy I went to Fulgora first. But Vulcanus first is probably like eight out of 10 choice, whereas Fulgora first is maybe like seven out of 10 choice. I, there is no 10 out of 10 choice. Um, and I have no idea what Gleba is, but it probably is not 6 or 7 out of 10. <laughs> it's probably 5 out of 10 or less. I don't know. But there's, there's my two cents anyway. And yeah, you know, as Dave was saying, like, he went to Vulcanus first, and getting around without the mech suit is pretty annoying on on Vulcanus, because there are cliffs everywhere in certain areas. They, they give you a couple areas that have more buildability, but I mean, look, half the map is just rocks and cliffs. So not having the mech suit does provide to be annoying, I'm sure. Gleba first, <laughs> 10,000 out of 100,000, there you go. Should I be exporting modules here? I feel like I should. We have a lot. We are gonna run out of superconductors eventually, which is kind of a weird thing. So it's almost like I need to request superconductors onto the Derpamu. Because the Hendrickson is actually the Nauvis to Fulgora back and forth. We should probably set that up, why don't we? So Fulgora. Wait until all requests satisfied, or 10 minutes have passed, and then you'll go to Nalvis, all requests satisfied, or 600, and you also want to have... Item count... of the science. I do want to wait till that's zero. So it's unloaded all of that. I really wish there was an easier way to do this. Because we want kind of two different ores. Want that or that and
There's no way to ore the ands together. Ugh, this is annoying. Um... Going from Fulgora to Vulcanus, yeah. I'm not gonna go back and forth between the two. Uh, that's off the list. Uh, what am I doing? So... Basically, I wanna say that's zero and... All requests are satisfied. Or... Six hundred seconds of inactivity and cargo. Of that is zero. That's one of the two. And then it'll head back to Fulgore. Yeah. It's annoying that you have to copy the condition, because you could do it with parentheses, but there are no parentheses. But that'll do it. We could even add an interrupt. Ooh, you run out of ammo? You head over to the ammo station, you know? Like, it's so crazy that you can do stuff like that. Um, I don't know if it needs all this Fulgora first trip stuff, but I'll leave it. Once it's gotten the stuff once, it'll have it forever. And anything else we need from Fulgora? Or is that fine? How's Fulgora doing? We haven't checked up in a while. Still have an absurd amount of uncommon copper cables and now uncommon electric circuits. 19,000 steel. <laughs> oh my, what's our steel recycling limit? Uh, that's right here. Twenty thousand. Okay. Yeah, there's all sorts of uh, issues we're gonna have in the long term, but for now it's making science, doing fine. I don't know how many packs you need for the whole game, but we're probably getting close to having enough to finish things. You know, like. The Aqualode Discoveries, 3,000 of each. Railguns, 2,000 of each. I don't want to look at everything, but... Probably having another 20 or 30,000 of each is going to be enough. So it's not like we need crazy numbers. I should do electromagnetic plant uh, recycling here to keep rolling for quality. So what we need is this guy to recycle if connect. No, 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 sorry. We need this combinator nonsense again. So I need you to control this inserter, which has a filter regular electromagnetic plants, not the other kinds. And you control him. And you're connected to RoboPort somewhere. And then that says electromagnetic plant is greater than 120, and yet the uncommon electromagnetic plants is less than 60, then we recycle an electromagnetic plant. So that'll keep that rolling. And eventually when we have enough uncommons, it'll stop recycling. Okay. So that's good, because we do want uncommons, and the Hendrickson needs to be picking up uncommons um, just as part of the normal trip.
Uh, don't forget the quality in the recycler. I intentionally left that out. I guess in this case, because I already have dedicated uncommon crafting, that might be worth it. Uh, let's see, we can grab rares. That's one thing I should have plenty of here on this planet. And eventually I'll have some number of rares, but it's still going to be a fairly small amount. I guess I could quality up these guys and then I'd have even more. I don't know what to do with all the uncommon electric circuits. I'm just going to have to trash some. Electronic circuit. Uncommon. Raider in 10,000. Quest 600. Uncommon circuits. Speed of things up here. Wait. Oh boy. Oh, now we're now we're getting the recycling going. Jeez. Oh my. So really, this should be on a separate... I don't even know. This needs to go like over here. To this one. It'll be nice to have stacking and turbo belts on here, on Fulgora, eventually. It's interesting, part of the problem is... the different types of items, not just... the, uh... like the rate you know because like once it's loaded in a certain type it wait it has a delay before it puts in the next thing which is kind of interesting so like an inserter will only get one of a certain thing and then it has to wait for a while before it's decided okay i'll put that in so you need a, even more scrap recyclers than you think you need Okay, well, I think that's enough recycling. We'll see if we come back and still have too many of those things. <laughs> um, oh boy, we're at an hour and 20 minutes for this recording. Okay, well, I'd say we've done what we set out to do. We've got our turbo belts. We've got all of the exports we need from Vulcanus. And we even have prepared the SS Derpa move for going back and forth, which I think it's just about ready for its voyage, even. I'll have to double check the asteroid collection and such, but I think we're basically good to go, so... We'll have to get the conditions all set up and make sure we're picking up all the things we want to pick up. But yeah, as always, I think we're gonna call it an episode. Or, I can't talk right. Uh, we're gonna call it an episode, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you down in the next episode.